After 30 minutes, the sealant was killed. Then we move to step three, pump ink. In this step, we we'll need to go back to ID GSP UV printer setup process. On the point E, plug on and turn machine. Lift working by tier 20 meter distance to print high cut. Then turn it off. Install a, a line working by manually load the distilled water, fill the ink 200 to 220 ml, install six piece ink sack, also pump the ink manually by syringe. Plug the main power socket and this one is the grounding pin if the if in your site there are a lot of equipment may cause the interference you may need to connect this this grounding pin as well Every time when you open the shade, the print head card should be on the home position like this. But when you before you turn the machine, you need to move the print head card to the middle manually. This is about the uh, repositioning accuracy. This part called limit switch. In this UV printer, we have three. One is on the X axis, and the other two on the Y axis. One is here. And the other at the back. Every time when you power on the UV printer, the limit switch, you have the mantelpiece triggers like this on the X and the Y axis. After that, the system hand over the control to user. I turn the power and see the demo. Press up button to leave the walking bag. To align the work bag, we we'll need to align the distance between the table and the cut on four pole this one this one this one and this one work bed adjustment through the screws under the back
I will now align the workpad. I prefer to turn off the power and do it manually because I I don't want to damage the print head during the process. On the first power, I will use this plastic piece. The requirement. That's okay. <clears throat> then I pro out the work back to the second pole and to alignment. If there's too much distance, I will lift the table a bit. Okay. Then I move the car to the left hand side and check the third pole. It's a bit higher. I need to lower the walk back. That's okay. After the ink field, make sure the cap, this cap was semi-closed, is flexible. The purpose is to ensure ink flow smoothly. We leave the 
note here to remind we just keep the bottle caps semi closed okay and close the housing let's move on to install ink sack this is the ink sack and this edge face to you and insert to the print head cap press down vertically and and shake it a bit make sure it's insert firmly okay this ink sack is for the Y ink Y ink has two channel so we have two pipe two ink sack and the first one is like this I will trim from here the the pipe on the the edge I cut from here the first white ink sack In the ink house, we have only one ink bottle with white ink, so we use this one to two socket to have two ink pipe to the ink sack. The third ink sack is for black ink. So this one without the color tag as others. The fifth insect is the sign like this. Last one is yellow.
in this step I have some tips for example this insect when you plug in or remove make sure the fingertip is hold hold this insect like this this way is wrong it's not correct this this way is correct otherwise the insect may be damaged if the the in, inside the, the insect it will push out also when you insert the, to the print head cap make sure it's insert firmly and uh, the pipe was insert to the sack firmly as well to avoid the ink leak or the air leak the pipe was was insert fully to the sack We will start to pump ink from the syringe and to prevent the UV ink was leak into the socket from the FPC cable during the pump ink process we will use Cleaning clothes. We put the clothes. Near the FPC cable. To absorb. In case any ink leak. Pump ink from the ink sack. We use this syringe for each color ink sack. We suggest to pump 20 to 30 ml. <laughs> 